It's time to take a quick look at what played out at the Nigerian Exchange last week, being the first trading week for the year 2024, and then do some analysis or better still assessments of um, the performance of the Nigerian um, Exchange in the past year 2023 but before then let's get talking now the nigerian stock market recorded an impressive start in the first trading week of 2024 the market opened for four trading days last week as the federal government of nigeria declared monday january the first as a public holidays to commemorate new year celebration accordingly the benchmark index or shell index asi surge and broke through the 79,000 psychological mark to record a substantial 6.54 percent week on week to close at 79,664 basis points similarly the market capitalization which represent the total value of investment in the exchange surge 2.7 trillion naira to close at 43.59 trillion naira from 40.917 trillion 917 trillion um, naira the previous week a total turnover of 3.320 billion Naira shares worth 41.7 billion in 64,994 deals was traded last, last week by investors on the floor of the exchange. In contrast to a total of 1.1 billion shares valued at 31.4 billion era that exchange earned last week in 23,969 deals. Ambrose Amodion, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited, is with me now live in our Lagos studio as to do some assessment of what played out at the Nigerian exchange. Ambrose, it's still safe to say Happy New Year to you because we're definitely seeing each other for the first time yes, yeah, this year. Yes, still very new. Very new and fresh. Yes, Happy yes. New Year to you once again. Same here, my Good brother. to have you join me on the program. Thanks for Let's having me. Let's get talking me. now. The Nigerian exchange performance in 2023, what's your assessment of it? I understand very quickly that towards the end of the year, there were so many brilliant um, um, recordings that we see. A lot of I, 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 I cap stocks trading perfor, perform, uh, performing well um, at the exchange, exchange last year. And we also saw Nollywood actor Richard Buffett Damijo ringing the closing gong at the exchange what's your what's your take about all of the activities that played out at the exchange last year for me 2023 was a bullish year for nigerian investors great and do that i started to sit there you know on the firm because of election year mm. are now biting their finger hmm. because you know before now in the trade of Nigeria that any election year mm. because we have foreign investors when they are going we saw it that market in election year but in 2019 and 2023 we saw a reversal in that direction for me it's a good one for nigeria market yeah despite that the market performance has a disconnection with the economy but it, this is an indicator to say that yes expectation and uh, you know opportunities drives are the one that support the market not really the economic activity because as to speak now even right in this uh, first week of the you know the economic of the year if you look at the economic data i'll tell you that there's still this connection with what the market is happening today mm. but the good news is that it's an indicator for the government and the policy maker to quickly put policy to kind of um, complement what the market is doing and mm. also complement their earlier policy mm. now to put the economy in the right you know direction of recovering and part of progress for me this is what they should do not need of talking too much story and also if you want to add the issue in nigeria to speak today you know i had you discussing with your you know the, the first guest mm. about the nigeria economy yes yeah this is the time for government to apply wisdom and caution in their decisions because all the indicators coming from whether imf or whatever saying that yes our growth will slow down but i believe that you are that driving the car, know where you are going. Mm. You no, know, the ones watching that time I see that you are driving rough. Mm. You are not driving rough because mm. you know that then it's not done on the minister. They are trying to make you realize that hey, young man, just take caution, take caution. Yeah, that's right. You don't yeah, that's that's no, because you know where you are heading, <laughs> you know you're heading as a leader, your team know where you are going. Yes. It's the time for them to develop policy that will take you there faster. So that mm. those that think that you're not going to grow will be mm. put you know, for me to say, yes, these guys know what they are doing. Mm. For me, it is not the time for our MP MPC meeting or to be you know, trying to impress, influence the, impress the, what got, foreign investors to yes. come and invest in Nigeria. No, put your house in order first. Let the economy have its own growth here. And they'll see that, oh, you have put the economy in the right direction and it's growing, it will come on their own, not mm. with what interest rate. Mm. Interest rate will put Nigeria into a corner, will become you know, more you know, contracted in terms of economic activities because already at 18.75, yes. we are complaining. You mentioned that you know, my private sector already threatened to, to start shutting yes. down because we have not addressed the issue of what exchange what challenge. Yes. And it has taken time for many governments in Nigeria. What is the problem in addressing exchange? That means even the, all the booth they read 
all this meeting they are meeting, all the sitting they are sitting there any morning. That means that is there something that is unbreakable in this area? For me, it's a simple thing. Let's look inward. All those ministers, all those top Nigerians, all the elites that are putting money abroad, bring your money back to Nigeria. All those that have foreign currency, where you are putting hard currency, let's be honest, let's listen to the All of them, they don't have Nigeria as first. They have themselves as first. That is why, when you say, was they, I sent to Nigeria, federal government of Nigeria to start Nigeria, all those ones are just to quote that day and move Mere on. Talks. Just to move on. If you really, from your heart, and you have fear of God or fear of Allah, you should know how to do the right thing at the right time. For me, I don't believe that the, you know, whether the forecasts are coming, but the market on its own now is looking at where I can create wealth for Nigerians. Mm. But once you do with this market, it starts coming down. Mm. And the economy remain in the state. Mm. This government knows that Nigerians are watching. So tell because me. Because as we speak now, yes. the market is just a big consolidation yes. they are having. Yes. The market yes. is doing well. Yes. What other indicators are not going yes. to they, they need to make sure that they put in the um, policies that will support this market Good. to keep some people worried. Well, if yes. the market comes down, people are not earning from Good. No lot of things become a problem. For me, this is the time for them to put their policies together. Now, for this so to put an end. All right. Now, with what you've said now, I want to ask you this big question. How was the market able to defy? The economic hordes to come out strong in the past year. So it tells you that the the managers of Nigeria corporate bodies are really striving. Good. That's why they should be the one managing Nigeria. That's oh. why Nigeria should turn to. We see we see Temi Kopogola, the, the group uh, hold, managing hold, director hold now of the NGS. Yes, fine, good. Let me see. Let, we need a corporate Nigeria now. I, I believe that we have yes we have most of the telegraph in the management. But let these people that are managing small, small corporate bodies that are listed on the exchange manage Nigeria. Nigeria will move forward. Hmm. Because this so? yes, because what? it has always been a situation whereby when you have a very sound guy in the corporate environment, and by the time he comes into the political environment, is actually there's a change of spirit, and then he gets there, instead of him to get things right, things just nose dive. It's because it's only one man standing there. Most of them are politicians working with him. Even though in the ministries, all of them know who they are representing, who they are playing role. If they have professionals also come in, that's why I said, you know, the private sector can strive because they know what they want to achieve. Mm. But the public sector, everybody wants to sit and carry file and earn money. But I tell you, when you are productive, mm. you provide results. You mm. produce results. I mean, mm. that is what it is. For me, I believe that Nigeria can move forward. Or we need a new policy direction. And the person driving in that direction also should be there to show point. I tell you, like, give appoint the ministers. And by now, I've not seen a clear direction because when they came, when I was talking, they said, it's too early to ask the where that they're going. Over <laughs> seven months yeah, now. Yeah, it's too early. But for me, I can tell you that I've not seen where they are going to see now. I think what we can speak of the, of the humanitarian ministry as it is right now, it's just corruption and nothing more yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, I can't say so, but I, tell you, I don't know where they are going. Now, even the the CBN, uh, new CBN governor, that said he want to go to the world, that this uh, two, two months uh, MPC meeting is just that they can be meeting once in a quarter. We agree. Where are we going? If you want to you know, increase rate for the next two quarters, to, you, know, to me, you want to throw this economy into dark? What you are thinking? Okay, it's okay, because uh, you know, we are seeing improvement in oil production. Is that enough? Our reserve, when is this start coming up again? And the exchange rate, what, where is it today? These are things that you should consider. Not just trying to impress, uh, impress uh, people to come and No, look at what, what can we do to address this issue of exchange rate. Why is that the black market is booming than the official market? You ask yourself a question. UK, you have removed the 43 of the 44 you know, items that are you know, black by What the is the impact CBN. on what we are doing today? You should ask yourself a question. These are things that you should be bothering me. But for me, I believe that the president should have all these ministers. Let me also have a team of people that are not they, that, that, they, to, that they, are not ministers, they are not uh, this or that, that are sitting somewhere. The president. No, what's your coming out? Even people that are hearing, let them hear. All right. President should leave a minister to work. Let the president work. You need guys that are smart. Mm. Pay them money and give me information what is happening in Nigeria. Those guys also form like a team at the back for those ministers. Because I tell you, I don't know whether they have team or not, because the way they are moving, we what to, what to let me, the way we are moving, <laughs> yes. we'll soon uh, name a year in government. Because we're already in, uh, in January. Yes. By May, it's less than five months now. Yes. We're entering May. Yes. That yes. is one year in of, office. In office. We have three years left. Yes. 2017 is, is around the, the corner. corner. Yes. And we have not seen any move to say where we are going. I, I, I was going to say to you that um, there is going to be a kind of uh, performance appraiser by the um, by this administration at the end of this month. Oh, good. So good. I think that would be very nice. Are, I expect that the media, of course, will bring out all of the achievements that they've made. I think that would be very nice. And they will nice. now wait based on the standards that the president or the benchmark the president has set for the ministers and their ministries. Only until then, we can tell the direction 
that they are heading uh, to. Fine, if you agree, uh, let me let Ambrose, me wait. Let me it's wait 2024. Let's talk markets. It's 2024. We're seeing the market recording an impressive first day, first week trading. What's your reaction to this? And what projection do you think this will have on the impact or the overall impact of the market throughout the course of this year? Your thoughts? For me, market opening at a very bullish, you know, state at night is not a guarantee that the market will close there. Uh, positive at the end of the year. This All is not right. the first time in Nigeria that we see market opening strong like this. All but right. one thing which investors should know that the first coming to the market is because our market has become cheaper. Mm. Because the more we are having a narrow you know, depreciation, the more people can come with a little dollar, either Nigerians abroad or mm. foreign investors are coming in. Mm. The way they are coming with their hard currency, with small uh, 200, uh, 2 million dollar, you know what is going to mean, but 2 million dollar in Nigeria is how much it is today. That's a huge money to go to Nigeria stock exchange and move the market. That is why it's not done on us as a government to do that we address the issue of Naira depreciation, mm. which is very, very thing that we look at. And also, any other investment we do in Nigeria is below inflation. The only market that's returning higher above inflation is the stock market. That's why we are seeing funds entering there because everyone wants to edge against inflation. Because even though you are earning millions and it's below inflation, you can't get what you need. But if you are in the market ahead of the market, ahead of inflation, you can make progress. That's why. And also, price of goods in Nigeria has increased. Mm. Everything has increased. The capital market will not remain down. Mm. That's why they are friendly trend of what inflation was seeing. All right.